Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Crick Blog Podcast. I'm dressed in black today to mourn the death of India's home record in Test cricket. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna come back and bite me uh, if we go and lose the Border Gavaskar Trophy, but we'll enjoy it for now. Nash, like last week, you went off the long run and gave us a great rant. What have you got in store for us today? Go ahead. Well, why am I here? Is my question. <laughs> Why am I even here? I don't want to be. I don't want to do this. It's um, uh. it's 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 not. Look, there have been plenty of highs for this Indian team. Mm. I mean, am- amazing highs in all formats. There have been plenty of lows as well. But the manner of this low is absolutely deflating. It's absolutely pathetic. It's demotivating. It's it's not. It's uninspiring. Um, yep. and they don't want to learn from it that's the that's the um idea that all the fans have got that's the th- that's what they are portraying that they don't want to learn from it because if it was any other captain um that 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 had lost a home series sorry i'm trying to gather my words but <laughs> if there was any other captain that was that had lost a home series three nil, a whitewash. Not even, not even a two one or, or not even a yeah, closely yeah. fought three series. Nil. Three nil and soundly, and soundly beaten, convincingly, yeah. convincingly beaten. Any other captain would have sacked, would have been sacked, or they would have resigned. But mm. it, it, like, like we said, I, I think it was after the first test match. Uh, we sat here and and called out the Rohit Sharma's PR machine. I think it has been hard at work, to be honest. I don't look. I I tweeted yesterday as well. Uh, sorry, I tweeted. I think on the first or the second day of the of the game of the third test match, saying I don't want to just end up becoming another social media troll, and and just bash one player. But Rohit Sharma at the moment is making it so hard not to be, and 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 mm-hmm. I'm sure you can imagine as my situation as well because um, you know. It's so difficult not to pinpoint the mistakes, and it, all the all the all the roads, all the paths lead to the same person, same mm. two people. In fact, mm. not even just Rohit Sharma, just Gautam Gambhir as well. And the fact is, all these social media houses, all these media houses, are still, for some reason, using Virat Kohli's images. Yeah, he's not even the captain. He's not even the, your best batsman. Oh, I called that and, out today on the Twitter. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, and you don't need that. I mean, you don't need to target uh, one player so much that, um, you know, they just, it is interesting and it is, it is pathetic as well, because mm-hmm. I keep saying that word again and again, because that's what it is. I, I don't, I don't know what, what else to say, because right from the first innings in the first test match, the, the toss selection and, yeah. and the third test match as well, why wasn't Aksar Patel selected? Suraj bowled like six overs. So, I'm guessing the 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 captain, the coach had some idea of how the pitch was going to play, and why wasn't Aksar playing? He he. Why hasn't Aksar has been your savior time and again yeah. in many Test matches, right from uh, Border Gavaskar Trophy last year? So where was he? You know, I, I have I have no idea why he wasn't selected, and and it's it's so much so much of. Uh, Annoying, like territory when it comes to this this team management, and uh, there's not a lot of transparency as well in terms of selections and who gets. Uh, they are getting selected, so it, it's it's really difficult to understand where does this Indian team go from here. I don't think that the the two main culprits are Gautam Gambhir and Rohit Sharma, but that the entire batting unit has absolutely. I agree with failed. you on that. The batting unit as and, well has got a lot to answer to. Oh, plenty. And, and you know, Shubman Gill played beautifully in the first innings. And I tweeted after that, he has to be consistent. And you know what happened in the second innings. He, he You know, that, that has been the issue. Yeah. That has been the issue with this Indian batting right from, I think, from what I remember, I think it was from the 2021 England series. Um, you know, right from there, my I, I, I'm trying to cast my mind as, far back as possible yeah. but right from the 2021 England series where um you know, there were some good performances I'm not gonna lie Rohit Sharma's 100 was really brilliant Ashwin had a 100 as well but it wasn't it was never consistent and right from that series the top order has repeatedly failed repeatedly failed 
and and they have just tried chop chopping and changing people they've, in they've and out like, a lot by the lower order over the years exactly bailed out exactly a lot order. a lot yeah, and then true. obviously the two main batters uh, are no longer Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli they are um, Rishabh Pant and Jashashi Vijayaswal in the last few months and I mean Kohli um, running himself out was crazy I think that's oh. where India lost the game that first evening uh, they were on top in control and completely lost their minds and look i'm i'm going to call it out and a rohit sharma has to resign um he doesn't he doesn't fit into the team anymore he's not scoring runs uh, and he's not good as captain we saw that in this series no captain that i remember of was so helpless in indian conditions and and no. b b there has to be a, a, a warning to virat kohli as well he has to start stepping up in the in in this format now. Australia too, hopefully, is kind of a revival for him. May hopefully there's there's a redemption arc there because he loves he loves batting in Australia. He loves batting against Australia, and mm. and Australia just brings the best best out of him. So, I, I really hope Australia is the tour where he finds his um finds his sort of rhythm again. Mm. But I don't see that happening with Rohit Sharma. I don't see that. Now, I think I saw today that they, they still don't know whether he'll be there for the first test match. Or yes, not. That's I did not, read that. That's not, that's, not a, 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 that's not how a captain should sort of treat the format. That's not how a captain should treat their team. And and they should be they should know whether they are going or not. The, the first test match is what, 20 days away? Um, less, 18 days less, away now. Yeah, 18 days away. So uh, mm. it, not even not even three weeks. And yep. it, it's it's... It's so it's so difficult to understand what's going on with this team at the moment. So, what's your confidence like heading into that Border Gavaskar Trophy? Has it been declined, reduced a lot because of this? Or I know it's going to be very different conditions, but after all, definitely India were out for forty six as well on a bouncy pitch at Bengaluru. Yeah, definitely, definitely, it's 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 reduced a lot than what it was maybe a month ago, two months ago. Um, yeah, because not because I I. Not because I don't believe that the players have skill. They did. They do have skill. Like they they have shown us before. It's about how they approach mm. um, the captaincy, how they approach the batting, how they approach uh, the, through the entire format. I think whenever exactly. India were under the under fire in this series, they sort of rolled over in a way. They didn't yep. have the sort of resilience that we're used to. Absolutely, and that's not just in the batting, but in the bowling as well. The the captain looked absolutely clueless. Well, it's it, interesting. Times, almost know. a quarter of the uh, so when the the post we're talking about ESP and Crick Info using Virat Kohli pointing and yeah, they said you know nearly a quarter of the deliveries were singles and twos in the series. That's that's quite a lot. Exactly, a, nearly a quarter. You've conceded just, in singles and twos, and 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 in Test match format, that yeah. that's just easy on help, runs on that's, helpful that's, pitches on helpful pitches. Exactly, that's how just the team the, that struggled to travel. The batters have just rotated the strike and and kept batting for long and that's what that's exactly what you actually need from from your batters but new zealand have shown you know a full I, I'm, I'm sitting here complaining about india but full credit to new zealand the, the way they have handled handled the conditions that the, the yeah. way they have batted um will yeah. young the player of the series played beautifully in the third test match and uh you know he, tim saudi in the first test match played brilliantly as well rachin ravindra yep um, scored a hundred. You know, there there have been performances all around for New Zealand. So so all credit to New Zealand. Hundred percent credit to New Zealand and Will Young in particular. Two fifties, very tough conditions at Mumbai, uh, extreme heat, humidity, felt very hot just watching. Uh, given how you know how bad it looked on on TV, but twin fifties, he he defended very well. He 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 showed that it is possible to score some runs on these tr- tricky surfaces using the straight bat as much as possible. Yep. I think Daryl Mitchell had a very good game as well. There were some crucial partnerships with he and Will Young in both innings, I think. Um, yep. So that, that was key. You know, getting that, that partnership in the second innings, I thought when New Zealand were four down for not many or three down for not many for 40, I thought this could easily be a, an 80, 90 or all out if they're not careful. But it was Mitchell and uh, and Young there that, that got to 50 partnership or thereabouts in quick time. Yep. And again, it was that and... period there where India were waiting for things to happen and New Zealand Absolutely. took full advantage. Um, and they played brilliant cricket, absolutely, absolutely. Superb. And and they they have played great cricket. And Ajaz Patel with with eleven wickets in the in the third yep. Test match, um, bowled, bowled brilliantly as well. And the 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 thing is, yesterday was a perfect chance for Gautam Gambhir to come out uh, for the press conference as well, along with Rohit Sharma. 
I, I don't know what's stopping them, uh, you know, and, and yeah, rightly so Roy Sharma to his credit said that, you know, he, he blames himself as well for the, for the captaincy and for the lack of runs. And that's, that's, that's very well, but where's, where's your coach? He should be there as well with, with you taking the blame. And mm. because when it was Kohli and Shastri, all the blame, oh, Ashwin's not playing. Why Kohli and Shastri? Why, why is he not playing? And everything was Kohli and Shastri. So why, why is it any different? In, in, during this team management, I I don't I don't fully understand because uh, Gautam Gambhir, when he was in commentary, was doing all sorts of interviews and 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 complaining and you know saying oh these things should be like that and then X Y Z and A B C and it, now that he's in the driver's seat, yep. he's he's he is finding out how difficult the job is. Yep, how, yep. three 0 at he, home to New Zealand. That you know you the captain and the coach in particular, and a lot of the players should be really under the spotlight after a result. Exactly. Like that. What the previous team uh, led by Virat Kohli, you know, coached by Ravi Shastri, the bowling attack was Ishan Sharma, Umesh Adha, Bhubneshwar Kumar, Bumra later on, Siraj. What they built took 12 years. These guys have demolished it in two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. That's all it took. That's all it took, and and it just goes to show that that age old proverb that we were taught in school. You know, it take it it takes really long time to get to the top, but to get to the bottom, it's really fascinating, easy. isn't it? Australia moved to the top of the World Test Championship table. We haven't played since March, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> Thanks. It's oh, shameful, shameful. I don't know. Man, that's insane. But look, talking about the Border Gavaskar Trophy, I don't think. I don't have a lot of confidence. You the, need a, the only you need a way glue. you need a glue in the batting lineup. You need you need players that are going to bat long and, and fight through the tricky periods. Because when yeah. you're up against Cummins, Stark, Hazelwood, Lyon, you're going to have times where you're going to find the going a bit difficult. Do when you have the resilience and the mentality to get through it consistently, like Pujara was able to the last yeah. two series, he faced over two thousand balls across both series. Yeah, two thousand. And- and that, that's the main thing. They, someone has to step up, and it has to be, in my opinion, it has to be Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli knows the knows the knows the Australian pitches, knows the bowlers, knows the conditions, knows the challenge. He he is in perfect position to drive this team forward with his batting. And and Rohit Sharma can provide that captaincy and leadership at the top. I think it, it, I think this team can still perform on Australian. Australia, shows. let's be real. Australia still got we've got our issues. Let's not forget that. Yep. You know, we've, we're thinking about who our opener is, and um, you know, Marnus and Smith haven't been in great form the last couple of years. So we've got our own issues too. And, exactly. Um, and the, yeah. the the tactic in Australia can't be just throw the ball to Boomerang and hope for the best. That's, yes. That's that. You got to be work, work as a, as a all unit. Five tests. As yep. a unit, you got to work as Siraj, a unit. Siraj. Siraj uh, has been concerning like as Stark well. Stark has potentially pulled his hamstring, by the way. Just watching the one day. Bloody hell. I don't know if it's a cramp or whether he's pulled his hamstring. But anyway. Uh, I, think go right. I think he'll go right. He clutched um, at it straight away. I, I wouldn't risk him anymore, but try. Yeah, hope he's all right. Um anyway. I actually it, don't know why they why why Australia are playing with a full blown attack is it just yeah, to get some cricket it's, it's Hazelwood is playing in the shield at the moment and Cummins and Stark playing in this one day series yeah it's an interesting point um look Cummins needs the action he's been out for two months rested yeah, yeah. I, I mean I mean I would have I would have guessed they would play the shield rather than the one day but yeah Cummins is just that... shield and Stark yep. play a bit of shield and yeah yeah you're right um interesting decision making but yeah, onto India. Yep, you need you need bat- batsmen there who are going to perform. And yep. uh, well, congratulations to New Zealand. If someone predicted this three nil, I mean you you did you did you did say three nil. I the said start, three nil but... before the series, but to India. <laughs> <laughs> if someone predicted three nil to New Zealand, we all would have asked what they would have been thinking. So I was doing a bit of digging today, and you know the last. I mean, uh, if someone said three nil to New Zealand. If someone said three 0 to New Zealand at the start, we would be asking where do they buy their stuff. So where do they buy their stuff? Uh, what are you taking? <laughs> what are you smoking? What are you drinking? Yeah, hundred percent. It's one of the most extraordinary results in Test history. I was doing a bit of digging today. They haven't won a series in Asia since two thousand and eight, and they scraped past Bangladesh because of Dan Vittori. They won by three wickets, and it was because of yeah. Vittori that all round performance got them over the line. Otherwise, they would have lost. 
It goes to show exactly. that in, in, in Asia, they haven't been the best, but this has been an unbelievable win. They took India head on. They uh, embraced the difficult conditions and they use it to their advantage. They didn't complain about the difficult conditions. They said, it's going to be difficult for you too, India. Uh, yeah. We'll keep the ball in the right spot. We'll bat well as well as we can. That's all they did. That's all they really did. No fuss. You know, from a New Zealand point of view, no Sankner and, and Ajaz Patel just, just kept bowling the same line in length and just varied the pace and, and got it adjusted to the pitch mm. as well very quickly rather than the, uh, more than the Indian bowlers. So, mm. it was just a poor show. I mean, not, that, that's an understatement, but I think I, I'll end it there. I'll, uh, I'll, I know, I'll, you've had enough. <laughs> I, I'm out just, of just like, Lastly, before we move on to the Australia-India A game, the Rishabh Pant dismissal, what did you make of it? Oh. I think it was out. I yeah, think I think it was, it was out. out I mean, there'll be, there'll be many, um, you know, many people dis- disagreeing with me, but um, I think it was out. There was a there was a clear deflection in my mind. Um, there was a deflection what in I could- my mind too. From what I could see, and um, yep. yeah, because Correct if if decision. you look at the if you look at the sneaker, there was when when the moment his bat hit the pad the first time, there wasn't anything on the sneaker, and then the next time there was um, something when the ball was next to the bat. So yeah, yes, one hundred percent. And there's a deflection. You're one hundred percent right, and that's yeah. not why India lost. And look, if he bats a bit longer, they're definitely oh, I mean, chance of winning. Like, but yeah. they had. They had many other Rishabh Pant. I'm I'm proud that he plays for India. I think he was the champion player. He was the slight glimmer of hope in that in that um innings in in that absolutely test match superb. Yeah, he played very he well. Has he has to. He had. He has a big burden on his shoulders in, he in does. Australia. Given what happened last time, is going to be a lot resting on him for sure. Uh, more success or disappointment for India in the India A game. Uh, Australia A winning that one after a very good bowling performance in the first innings and then getting a lead. And then despite a very good partnership, Sai Sudarsan and uh, Devdut Padakal, India were collapsed in the second innings in Australia. Mm. Nathan McSweeney and Bo Webster, superb in the chase to win by seven wickets. Mm. Um, there there are concerns for India in terms of batting as well uh, and, and the way they got out. Um but from an Australian point of view, both the openers who are supposed to be in the reckoning, uh, Bancroft and Sam Constance and Marcus Harris as well, yeah, um, yeah. need all, all of them failed. All of them failed. Yes, so what, yes. I think you are you are from an Australian point of view, you are strongly leaning towards uh, McSweeney, and is that going to be your final pick? I don't know. I think there's still a bit of time to go. That would be my pick. Personally, I think um, he's got the best technique of the lot. He's in the best form. He's 25. He's got future future leadership capabilities. Um, I think he inspires the most confidence by far out of the, the rest of them. Um, and, and I mean, there's not a yeah. lot of time. I mean, the player has to know at least two weeks before if he's playing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they I should. mean, if he's opening yeah. the batting True. against India in Australia in a test match, he, he has to know. But there's another A game to go and say yep. you know, someone else gets a big score that might tip things in his favor and all that. But um, look, I, 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 I hope it's not Constance. And I've been to and forth with uh, people on Twitter and saying, look, he's too early. Oh. And I think this game showed it. I mean, and, um, if, sorry, if I know India, it has to be Constance. Uh, because then. <laughs> well, McSweeney will be a debut time too. So. Oh yeah, that the good point. Good point. Yeah, good point. So I read an article today. You know, um, you know the the guy who coached uh, Michael Clark and Phil Hughes uh, to their Test debuts, uh, Neil De Costa. Um, he said that it's too early for Constas. He could be a good yeah. player for a hundred Tests. He said, if they put him in now, he might only play ten Tests. Um, and then he went on to say as well that it's too early. He's another player that, that's shown great potential, but let him play two years of Sheffield Shield. Let him understand the grounds in Australia, understand the flows of the game, understand himself and the game. If he's good enough, he'll get the runs and he'll be in the team in a little bit. It's just ridiculous rushing him in. How's Prithvi Shaw going? I could see his weaknesses before he went in. So when we talk about leaving it to the experts, he's an expert and he's bang on. Let him let him do his thing in shield cricket for a year or two, see how he goes, Absolutely. and then bring him in later. He's 19. There's no rush. Absolutely. There's no rush. Let him deal with the Mukesh Kumas of the world before you, you expose him to the Jasprit Bumrahs of the world. And that's yep. not a disrespect to Mukesh Kuma. That's, it's a, just good, that's that, a good point. Uh, that's just saying that, that you've got to succeed against these very good bowlers in domestic cricket, first-class cricket, before you go to the absolute elites. 
Yeah, um, fair point. And it was McSweeney who I thought did that. He played a very important innings in the first innings. Yes, it was slow, but that was a tough pitch on the first day where India were rolled for 107. Australia A lost three early wickets, but he hung in there and batted till the rest of the day and helped Australia A get a lead. And then he seals yep. it with the win in the fourth innings. Yep. To me, he's the best player out of the lot right now. Uh, and uh, I think he should be in, personally. Um, so that leads into Ask Crick Blog. And the first question actually we did get was uh, from uh, Suhas Wag, from um, as Suhas Wag tweets. Has Nathan McSweeney cemented his spot for that opening slot with that knock versus India A in the chase? I would love to see him versus India in the Border Gavaskar Trophy, potential captain for the future. Um I think it just confirmed to me personally that Nathan McSweeney's got to be opener. I've said for the last few weeks that he's got to have the the role. And um, some of the pushback I've got on Twitter has been, uh, well, has he opened in shield cricket? No, but he bats at three. And yep. you look at in the last game he played, the second innings he came in in the second ball. They lost the wicket mm -hmm. first ball. Yep. And he came in and batted against the new ball and got 72. So yep. he's got the technique. He's got the temperament. Get him in. I think he's gone a long way to cementing it. I think mean, he's gone a long way to cementing it, as I've said. Um, yeah, th there's a lot more to I know. Ricky Ponting has now, um, you know, said that McSweeney's and Mark Taylor has also said that. They'd like to see McSweeney in the role. And even with that pushback, he's never opened. He bats three, comes in early a lot of the time anyway, yep. and, and faces the new ball. He's not a stranger to the new ball. So, and technically very similar to Manus. We've mentioned this in the podcast before. So solid really solid. Um, so I'd love to see McSweeney in there. I think he gives us the best chance. Yep, absolutely. Uh, another question we received from uh, Haran Wadaka uh, at Karan underscore RW. How do you read into Gambia as a coach so far? Surely cannot blame him for this series defeat, which has majorly been brought around by batting collapses and a horrible show by Rahit and Virat. What do you think? Look, I, I will put the blame on him as well. Um, I, don't I mean, think he's, he's the coach. He's the coach. He's yeah. not. Yeah, exactly. He's not immune to criticism. He's the coach of this unit. He has to. And the coach at, at that at that level, the coach's job is not to teach technical skills to the batters because the batters, you know, maybe yeah. some tweaks here and there, but they are not. Coaches are not teaching Virat Kohli how to play a cover drive or how to it's, pull. It's a lot of mindset, uh, isn't it? Yeah. It's a lot of mindset. It's a lot of tactics. It's a lot of strategy. Uh, it's a lot of what uh, what works uh, and what doesn't work. So mm. Mm. I, I didn't see any of that from Gambir and Rohit in this series. Yes, the batting collapse has been horrendous, but irrespective of that, the, the captaincy in, when India was bowling was absolutely mind-boggling. It was baffling. Mm. Um, the, there were bowling changes and there were field changes, which made no sense. There were field placings, field positions, which were, made no sense. And yeah. there was... There was uh, number 10 and 11 batters were taking easy singles. Yep. Uh, Ajaz Patel and I think it was Matt Henry, they were they were batting so easily. They were batting, taking so easy singles that it was just, I, I was banging my head. In a low-scoring game, low-scoring exactly. series. And that's so crucial. You can't, ha you can't have that. You know, that's why yeah. I feel Gambhir is to blame for this loss as well. And, you know, right, rightly so, because if it was any other, if, for example, I, I keep, drawing examples from Kohli and Shastri because the way they were the they the, the way they were criticized for every single decision that was made was absolutely yeah yeah oh look it was it was everyone could them. see that from the outside looking, everyone could see a lot that. harsher yeah yeah and and if it was them we would uh, you know we, and they turned up to every single press conference together as well whether it was win whether it was loss well and that's how you that's how you sort of uh you know, uh, present yourself as the coach of a, of a, of a, of a, an international unit. Well, Kohli lost two home games out of thirty-one. You know, they've lost uh, under a hit. Now it's been five out of sixteen. That that's yeah. crazy for India at home. That, that's that, that's quite massive. And Gambia hasn't been a good start for him because they lost two 0 in the ODIs in Sri Lanka. The first ODI series lost there since nineteen ninety-seven for India. I, I'm thinking back to Jaginder Sharma earlier in the year. He was the bowler who delivered the final ball of the T 2007 World Cup, yep. the T20 World Cup, where India won. And he said that he won't last the length of his contract. He, he called it very early. He said that Gambier is one to manage the team, but I believe that he will not be able to stay for a long time. This is because he has his own decisions, and it might happen that he has a disagreement with a player. I'm not talking about Virat Kohli only. 
many times Gambia's decisions are such that others do not like them. And I just feel that there's not sense of unity among the group at the I don't moment think so. from yeah. the outside. I don't think in. so too. There's a bit of that uh, yeah. seeping I mean, in. Yeah, you're right. And and it's it is I feel the same way as well that he mm. won't last the the full tenure of his contract. And it's it is the the, the thing is Gautam Gambri as a coach has achieved nothing. I mean, if if someone could point out what he has actually achieved as a coach, he has been a mentor of an IPL team. He has I don't remember him coaching any other team. I don't either. I know I know him mostly mostly from the mentoring in the IPL as well. Yeah, yeah. that's it. That's it. Yeah. When you when you make such decisions, when you pick pick such people, uh, in 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 different positions, I mean, it, this is bound to happen. Yeah, yeah. This is bound to happen. Hmm. Rohit Sharma wasn't call. yeah wasn't a part of the of the dominance that was built in India. He wasn't he wasn't a big part. Let's be honest. No, Rohit he, hasn't he, done he, enough in Test cricket to be to be he, having that sort of status. I agree. Exactly. He played Good every knocks. like he played at Test matches here and there every time. But he's done well he at home in the past, Rohit. Part. But I don't think long enough to be considered yep. as a key um, architect or a key part of what India have done. So we talk about the captaincy. A question as well from Karen Madeka at Karen underscore RW was on the change of captaincy too. Do you see it on the cards? If yes, whom? If no, when till when do you persist with Rohit? I don't see Rohit being sacked at all personally. I don't see I that think, as well. Yeah, that's, you just that's, see, that's yeah. the shameful part, isn't it? Yeah, he won't. Part. He won't. We'd be, we, if Australia lose 3 0 to anybody here at home in the three match series, yeah, we'd be calling for changes definitely here. There'd be a lot of spotlight on the captain, the coach, etc. Look, uh, I think. Yeah, irrespective of the Australian series, what happens there? I think Australia Roy Sharma's time in Test matches is done. Listen, if he um, leads India to a series win in Australia, that's a big achievement. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. But but can he? I don't. It? That's a big question. Even if we win, I don't think we are going to get to the World Test Championship final. I think you got to win four. four. You got to win four I, tests. We have to, yeah, we have to win four. I don't see that happening. No. I mean, if yeah. that happens, I'm going to shave my head. <laughs> if that happens, I'll, I'll, I'll shave my you, head. I'll hold you to account. If we win four tests in <laughs> Australia, in, in, in the upcoming series, I'll shave my head. You hold me to that because you know it's not going to happen as well. Yeah, because you look at how good India were the last two tours. You, you won twice on both occasions. Yep. You didn't win three or four. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and that's the thing because we have to win all, we have to win four out of five. And and I, I don't even see, I don't see that happening personally. At the moment. Yeah. Um, so that that's the thing because when we, if you're not playing the World Test Championship, we don't have a test series again until England. Mm. Um, the ne- next next year that might I give, that might give the Indians some time to think about a new strategy. Um, if the so in, in terms of that. captaincy, yeah. yeah, in terms of captaincy, I think you got you got Rishabh Pant, uh, the obvious Bumrah? candidate. You got Bumrah, but I would I would steer clear of Bumrah because of because of his bowling status. Um, it's worked for Cummins. Yeah, so it, it has, but it w- would would. Bumra end up playing every single test match. I don't think so. Mm. Um, I, he shouldn't, is my opinion. Uh, well, he, he, I mean, he should. Uh, we would love to see more of him, but just managing um, him. Yep. Yeah, managing him from a managing yeah. point of view. But uh, Rishab Pant at this stage is the obvious candidate. Mm. Um, I don't, I don't, I can't think of anyone to be honest. If I mean, I mean, Jadeja doesn't have a brain cell, so I'm, I'm oh not, 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 not going with him. Um, so, so there's literally, there's, there's, me. I mean, he's a great bowler, but let's be honest, he doesn't have a brain cell. Or at least doesn't look like it, but yeah. um, I'll I'll go with, yeah, well, Rishabh Pant and Bumrah, the obvious candidates. Yeah, the they're the candidates, I think. Um, Unless you go awesome. completely, completely left wing and go Yashashu Jaiswal, but I think it's too early. Or Gil. Oh, no. Nah. I mean, yeah. come on. I was going to swear, but no. Nah. <laughs> but and he first has to bat consistently. On what happens in Australia, but yeah, I know. There, there's some questions to answer. If it goes really badly for India here, you've got to make a change. And uh, Rohit has had a poor captaincy tenure. Um, it's poor. I mean, look, I'll it's... never say. I'll never say. Let just because I hate 
uh, I, I don't hate just because I'm critical of Rohit Sharma or you know something like that. I won't say let India lose. I'll never say that. I mean, course, I would yeah, love yeah. to see India win. I, you I'm want to see the best for the team. Trying to see India win in Australia again. I mean, just that ten-year-old kid in me back in two thousand two, two thousand three wants India to win again. That will be some hell of a dominance in Australia against Australia. So win three um, in a row be huge. Yeah. But at this stage, as of today, I don't have that confidence. No, fair enough. Um, so just the last comment we've received from um, Siddhartha N at I'm Siddharth21. So agenda is simple for the Aussies. Bowl short, pitch to row hit. Uh, I wouldn't bowl, only bowl short, pitch to row hit. He does like the pull shot. Uh, bowl fourth or fifth stump outside off to Virat. Yes, I agree with that. And left arm and slash lion series sealed. I think the the ball that gets Rohit a lot is the one that just shapes away, and hits top of off. He does seem to square up a lot to that and get out bold or caught behind to that delivery a lot. I think Australia Australia will be targeting Virat Kohli in that corridor as well. No question. Do not move from that corridor. He'll look to when you want to feel bad on ball, he nicks off a lot. So yeah. Make it make it difficult for them, you know. Squeeze in in in, in the circle. Uh, don't let them get off strike easily. I think that's going to be yep. the, the thing because there's a lot of um, issues with the Indian batting at the moment, as as we've got. But but India to lose three nil at home is big, and uh, you want to win that first test in Perth, uh, and then go from there from an Aussie perspective. Yep. All right, thanks, Nash. Thanks Thank everyone you. for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Congratulations to New Zealand on this magnificent 3-0 win. An unbelievable month with the women winning the T20 World Cup in the UAE and then New Zealand sweeping India 3-0 in India. It's just the month that um, New Zealand fans will never, ever forget. And um, congratulations to them. Tom Latham, wonderful as captain. And congratulations to Nash. And I hope it continues in the Border Gavaska Trophy. We'll <laughs> see. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.